Hello friends, welcome to our channel. So today I have come up with another Python tutorial which will be helpful for the beginners who has just completed a basic course and want to do something uh, in Python. So today's topic is, you know, create a digital clock using Python, which shows something like in the right side. So what we need, uh, you know, before uh, starting the code, so you need a time module to get the current time from your uh, system. And then uh, you would need tkinter module for your uh, GUI development, right? And bo both of these modules are already pre-installed, but in some cases, maybe it's, it may say that tkinter module is not installed. In that case, uh, if you are in MacBook, try brew install python-tk and then run this tkinter module or if you are in debian based os like ubuntu try sudo apt get install python3 tk this is for uh, python3 library right and uh, before starting to write the code check if this tkinter module is working for you by just typing python3 m tkinter or python whichever is you know uh, python version 3 for you so let's go in our uh, terminal or console, whatever you say, and we will run and we'll check if these are working and then we will start writing the code. Let's move to the console. Well, I am here in the console. So first I will try if uh, my Python version is correct. Yes, so Python 3 is installed. Same way I will check if Python 3 is there. It is there and now I will also check if tkinter is installed right so it is telling package not found in tkinter because it is not installed using pip3 it, it is kind of inbuilt or you might have done it through your uh, system package so what we can do in that case is just run like this python3 hyphen m and tkinter and just press enter so it will pop up a window like this so this is uh, for your desktop development or say like GUI development if it comes like this it means tkinter is installed properly so just click on quit we are done here so now we'll start writing the code so what we will do is we'll run this file and we'll uh, write the code so what we need is import time to get the time of my machine and then I need tkinter so and uh, inside tkinter there are uh, lots of other classes and uh, methods but what I want is just to add a label and to create a tk object so that's why I am writing from tkinter import label and hyphen tk Right. So these two lines are important. Well, you can go and uh, uh, check officially in a Python document. So I will share this uh, tkinter documentation link where you can go ahead and check what all things you can do. You can basically create any kind of uh, a GUI application using tkinter. There are many other like PyQt and uh, PyGUI. GUI. But tkinter is a very famous one and this example I want to show you how you can utilize this tkinter module. Okay, so we have written these two lines. Now I am going to create an object where I will call uh, this class and then uh, I have to give a title to this particular class I mean so that whenever it will pop up it will show you the title in the top so we'll see uh, this when we will uh, just execute the code so I'm just going to write it as a digital clock and then you have to define um, the windows like how much bigger uh, a pop up you want to display so for that there is a, a, I mean a method called geometry well, these are all things you can actually uh, check in that official document 
which anyways i said like i will add uh, these things in your description in this video's description so let's say i want uh, this much bigger uh, like 250 width and 120 height uh, for that pop up window and i don't want to make it resizable so it should be constant so in that case you just have to type resizable and you have to pass uh, 0.0, .0 to make it unresizable now uh, i have to add a font um, to display at the time right so i want to show it little bit bigger and what could be the font and other things so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to write clock underscore font and uh, this should be uh, like optima and you can add uh, lots of other fonts so i'm just using optima here and uh, it it could be text for size will be 40 and uh, let's make it bold okay so this is done like you have created a title you have given the geometry you are making uh, it unresizable you have given the font and then you need like uh, what could be your you know uh, the clock timer color so let's say uh, i am going to say it, it is a foreground color for the clock and i will pass any number so i have used a hex color code so you can use a hex color code from the browser so there is something called hex code let's say i will type hex code and uh, i'm going to use any of this so let's say i'm going to use color hyphen hex.com and uh, what would be my color for uh, color for the time so let's say i want to show it as uh, this color so i will get this hex code and i will copy that in foreground font let's go back to the terminal and i will just paste it here so this is a kind of blue color that i want to show it and uh, let's give a border width equal to 2 you can give anything so that these all things we are doing to make uh, the pop up window with a proper size proper font proper color and we will use uh, this font color and width in our label so that's why we have imported label as well so now uh, i'm going to set a label for uh, this clock so i will type again clock equal to and this time i will say label and uh, this label will be using our tk object so tk object name is uh, dg clock so i am writing here dg clock and then i am typing like what the font i want to use so i have already written uh, clock font like this so this is my font color and fg is for foreground color and for that i have written fg underscore clock right and uh, what is the border so that is bd and i have defined it as a border underscore width right and then um, let's say i want to use clock dot grid i mean you can you can give like what uh, row and column you want to display again you can read all about this like what is this row and column how basically you can display in a tkinter because tkinter is a very big thing and uh, the whole gui development uh, people are and people are doing whole gui development based on this tkinter there are lots of books available lots of tutorials available but this is the minimal that you can try so whatever we are using here what you can do is you can go ahead and you can uh, refer the official document to figure out what all these things are doing right now uh, let me define a digital clock so i'm typing def digital i'm defining this digital clock right and then uh, i'm going to now get the local time right so for that i have already written import time so now i'm going to use this time here so what i will do is time dot strf time now this strf time method gives me a human readable format for the timing and i am going to use a 12 hour format so i will use percentage i uh, for hour 
and then percentage m for minute right and then percentage s for second and after space i'm going to write percentage p uh, to tell my clock like if it is am or pm right now i will add clock dot config this config will actually uh, show these things in a pop up so config is nothing but text equal to time underscore local so i am setting all the things in clock like label is there grid is there and now in config i am passing the time so time has been passed and uh, now what i want is uh, after some time so there is a function called after now there i want to use uh, like after one second call this function again so that you will see this percentage uh, second will be changing every second so it will look like a digital clock blinking every second for that i'm just typing 1000 millisecond means one second and after one second call the same function so it is uh, like a recursion function remember this uh, recursion function in your uh, college time so we are using now the same method now i have to set up this digital underscore clock so i am calling this digital underscore clock and now uh, to display it uh, as a clock i have to write this main loop if you write this so once you execute this program this will pop up the timing so now let's save this program and we will run this program and we'll see what is the output okay we got that error where is that error so it says uh, hyphen call must be hyphen column so this should be column not call now i will save this and i will run this program again and you see it is showing the system time with am pm and as I was uh, calling the same function and again and again after every one second. So you are seeing it is blinking. It looks like a digital clock, but what we are doing is we are writing a function and inside that function at the same place, we are calling again the same function. So what it is doing it is it is replacing the old one and putting the new one. So it looks like a digital clock. So once I close this one, if you go there, it will close the function here. Now this was one example. You can uh, try many other example as well, like add the date or create world timer, right? I mean, you can do many things. So I will be sharing the uh, repository for all this Python code uh, in this YouTube description. Okay, so now you have written the code and you saw it is working as expected. What next? So next thing what you can do is you can create a digital clock with date and time. So it was just a time. Now you can add a date as well. You can create a world clock, maybe like four or five different uh, time zones. So that suppose you are working with a Singapore client, you are working with uh, uh, Amsterdam client, your friend is staying in US or Sydney. So all those time you can have at your desktop just with your uh, program. You can create an alarm clock, you can create a stopwatch, you can create a timer just like you have in your uh, mobile. Also, you can create an advanced clock featuring all of the above. So this was just the beginning for this Tkinter program and for the digital clock. So you have lots of other logic and code to write. Go ahead, try all these. And if you face any issues, you can contact us through our channel. So now I will uh, show you the digital clock with date and time. So now you see uh, the color is different and now it is showing different time and today's uh, uh, date as well like today is thursday and it's a 15th july 2021 so you can uh, try this kind of enhancement in your clock the other one uh, can be digital clock with world time so let's go to that and uh, see this one as well now you see it is showing again uh, it is a thursday 15th july 2021 in india it is 9 35 pm so this is the time zone in new york it is still uh, 12 pm in amsterdam it is 6 pm 
I mean six pi. Again in Singapore, it is as it is little ahead than us, so it is showing tomorrow's time. Like it is uh, night twelve past five, and in Sydney, it is again two past five because of this time zone difference. So you can create many other things, as I said, like alarm, stopwatch, and combination of all these. So you can uh, go ahead and learn about tkinter. This is the tkinter official document from Python where uh, you can see lots of things like what are all the books available, what are all uh, the places you can find, what are the tk commands, what are the tcl commands and uh, what are all the things you can do like uh, you can choose the color, you can create a common dialog box, fill dialog box. As it is not a uh, overview or introduction course for tkinter so i'm not going to explain all of these things you can go ahead and you can read all this but this was just an example to showcase you that using tkinter you can create a beautiful uh, guid based application for example digital clock with lots of other features in that and this is my uh, learning python github repository where uh, I'm trying to update uh, the basic concepts, exercises and real world example time to time. Like yesterday, I updated few things here. So if you want to be updated uh, with all this GitHub repository, you can star it or you can fork it so that whenever I will add a few scripts here, you will get it. So that's all for this video, guys. I hope you like the concept and the video. And in case if you have any doubt, please ask us in the comment and don't forget to like it and subscribe it because this is the only thing which will motivate us to create more videos. The more subscribers, there will be more videos. <laughs> Thank you.